All right, welcome back. So we've got here um, this unit seems to be short cycling. All right, so at this point in the diagnosis, I like to go ahead and refer to my sequence of operations. Um, you probably want to make sure you memorize that for your newer techs. It really helps out um, for making diagnostic a lot quicker. Um, so first is you want to make sure your uh, thermostat is calling. Uh, then the control board goes through its safety check, checks the limit switches and rollout switches. Uh, then the inducer motor comes on, spins up, and pulls the, the pressure switch in. Uh, next after that, the hot surface igniter um, begins to heat up, or the direct spark, the direct spark ignition begins to spark. Then uh, finally the gas valve opens up and ignites the flame. Then your flame sensor will sense the flame got about 30 seconds uh, to a minute for the blower to come on because there's a delay uh, for that heat exchanger to heat up so basically once you have that memorized you'll be able to um, essentially know pretty quickly where the sequence dropped out at and then you can start your diagnosis uh, from that point just uh, some advice for the newer techs out there uh, we've got flame we got a flame rod so we know our pressure switch and everything, our inducer's pulling proper um, negative pressure. Um, but it seems to be stopping at the, um, the gas, the gas valve. I don't know if you heard that though, but you can hear the clunking of the solenoid in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see if I get voltage. that solenoid pulls in should see 24 volts nothing so no voltage so what we're gonna do pull the tabs off and see if we get voltage with the gas valve disconnecting. You should hear the relay click and then you should see about 26 volts between these two wires and then the gas valve. Relay. It's 20, about 28 volts. So we definitely getting voltage. Um, more than likely, the windings in this gas valve have been shorted. Um, and it's just... Not pulling the solenoid. So what I'll do is I'll check these windings. Ohm it out. Losing point nine nine kilo ohms. Let's see here. Fourteen kilo ohms left. What I'm gonna do is check it against this unit. Pretty much the same gas valve in here. It's 400 kilo ohms. So the good gas valve has got 400 kilo ohms. Bad gas valve. 14 kilo ohms. So here she's going to be a gas valve. That wasn't too difficult. Now we'll see if we have one of these gas valves in the truck. That's definitely what it is at this point.
And that's how to diagnose a bad gas valve. These two wires have got 24 volts. And um, if you've got 24 volts to the gas valve, and you hear that clicking solenoid, the clunking of that solenoid, but it's not pulling in, you know it's the gas valve. All right, well, I'm gonna check my truck and see if I got one on there. If not, we'll have to catch on the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Bye now.